Uh, Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Hello everyone. This is another ETAPS tutorial. In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to perform response spectrum in the latest ETAPS version V20. Uh, so, response spectrum analysis is a dynamic analysis. Uh, for for performing this analysis, we need some parameters, some things we should uh, determine the short period of uh, acceleration from the other maps of the uh, that region, and also uh, one second spectral. And as well as we should uh, determine the uh, structure system response modification factor R, and also the I important factor. So the later we will uh, use a scale factor I times G divided by R to scale this. And okay, where we can get this data? You, if you, if you are residents of United States, so then you can use uh, ATC code using other map, and you can give give the name of your location. So I will give uh, uh, Berkeley, which is in California, uh, one of the earthquake prone area. And when I give uh, some French school Berkeley, and then you can uh, see in the seismic parameters. So first, you should check the code. Which code you want? I'm going to use uh, ACE710, and I'm using the category two. The site class is default, which means default code. So here uh, we got these parameters automatically. And this is a response spectrum curve, which is this is the maximum considering earthquake, and this is the designed response spectrum. So what we need is we need to get this data, and this the first two value is 2.3, and the second one is this one. So I wanna select this one, copy, and put in here. Control V, and again. And this one, uh, this one. So we have these two parameters, and then we will where we get these parameters. It is based on our model. So I uh, intend to uh, consider or design a still uh, special concentratically brass frame so that R is equal seven. So this is the R, this R is 7. So I'm going to back here and give R 7. So I will model a very simple structure, residential, still special brass, and that the I factor is 1. I jump to the E tabs and I create a new model. In model, I use this build and using unite uh, metric using uh, United States code metric okay and a list draw structure is three bays in this direction three bays in this direction and each bay has six meters and totally five stories and each story has three meters height so very simple now I can select all story. So let's uh, suppose we have a typical story. So all, all story. From the column, I want to use. Uh, comes to the column here. W uh, three hundred by uh, three hundred by ten, one hundred ten, and going to apply to all columns. And then come back to the beam and using uh, beam W410 by uh, 53. So the entire structure, this one here. Yeah. Now, uh, so we uh, model the, the beam columns, and I want to uh, draw some secondary beams as well. I'm going to here using W. 250 by this one so I'm using this one and selecting two number of 
secondary beam yes so this is the secondary beam um, now uh, I can uh, uh, add one uh, brass is here and one brass is here and one brass is here and here so I can go to the elevation one first uh, or elevation a apply and I wanna uh, go to the brassing and I wanna use inverted V brasses and here I wanna take that W215 so this one is the smallest one and this one and this one here one and, and next we go to the D and one here and again we go to A other side and number four is other side so the brass is also added so the last thing I want to uh, check the base uh, and I'm gonna go to the plan again and going to up and this is the base so uh, here I want to select the first bottom of the structure and assign a join strain fixed and now uh, we have actually model uh, we were not adding any extra load uh, just we're considering the self load and 100% uh, self load to calculate the mass so I'm gonna here and defining mass source so that the mass source comes should from this specific load and dead load so that dead load is uh, the self load plus an extra load we didn't add any superimposed dead load so we're gonna add this one okay uh, now um, so we finished modeling and we have to define some uh, function so we go to response spectrum we use the same code which we already defined in the here and we want to give that uh, specific data we also can use that uh, latitude and longitude of uh, this data uh, if, if it's available this is uh, the longest rational and let's rational not available so but we're gonna give this one so two uh, point we adding this one two point three two uh, two zero two and this one is uh, ninety nine nine five six so here is the uh, site class which we use D which we hold it now it is the designed function which is almost equal if I go to that function here is 1.5 this is the design earthquake response so this is the maximum considering response which we have this one and the design is this one so we will use this design in parts and this parameter is automatically defined if I go back to see that yeah here is if we a and if we v is 1.5 and 1.1 so now I can call function 1 or in give the name as well so okay and okay so next we go to the load cases and we want to change the model uh, the model should be using uh, red factor and I'm gonna considering the acceleration in the X Y Z so X Y Z so I'm gonna 12 is enough and now we want to define that response spectrum analysis called R is a this is a linear uh, linear you can come to here response spectrum so I will get this one acceleration and here is the function one we already defined here is the scale factor this is scale factor is the 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 way we use is that G that uh, this one is G so we have give a G ground motion G and G is 10 or 9.81 uh, 
um, kilogram per, meter per square second so this is millimeter per square second so we want to use times one divided by seven so previously we defined that uh, we want to use this still is also with that f is equal uh, seven so we're gonna seven times uh, divided by seven called uh, okay so now it's 1400 with the scaling now we considering an x you also considering you can consider to y but one is enough and we wanna uh, use SRSS and model combination and the co model damping is five percent is okay so we define and uh, we can uh, um, save the model and I'm gonna save here and uh, run the analysis so it take a while to create and we will see the result after a while now the analysis completed and we can uh, go to here first let me see the mood first mood if yes it is uh, the mood shape is almost 0 0.4 second it's quite acceptable and uh, we can let me go back here to see some contour and here is some contour in here. you can so now the first mode shape and the second mode and third mode so like this you can see any mode you want uh, we want to go to the uh, load cases here and we want to use that uh, response spectrum so now I can go again here this is in X direction and here is the uh, the country is also drawn and kind of okay so this is it uh, we can delete one and also we can go to 3d yeah here is so this is the response spectrum and so the structure in in this region is quite in the boundary or the parameter is stiff but in the middle is not stiff so you can see that the formation is quite in this area and you can see this joint is in this joint displacement is uh, five millimeter and this is less so because this uh, brassing effect quite significant and so this is it uh, now we can go to display here and response uh, here response and this is the uh, response spectrum so this is the curve which we got the displacement from the response spectrum analysis so like this you can uh, uh, get the result and you can perform the response spectrum analysis and also we can uh, see the we didn't define the diaphragm so you cannot get the story displacement from dead loot live loot uh, response so this is the end of the tutorial if you have any question and uh, please put in the comment and i will find time to answer you see you next time